destructive fire has been one of the forces of nature that have been plaguing mankind since the beginning of time. Its inherent nature of manifesting when all of the elements are in place, fuel, oxygen, heat, and chemical reaction has rendered it as the most frequent cause of loss of life and property, more so than earthquakes, storms, volcanic eruptions, and floods. Water has been the natural enemy of fire. As a common extinguishing agent, water is present everywhere. Fire suppression in its simplest sense is a matter of logistics, delivering water to the base of the fire. The first recorded method of this practice dates back to 60 AD when the city of Rome under Emperor Nero had approximately 7,000 people wield axes and buckets to save their homes. The first semblance of an organized firefighting unit dates back to the 16th century, which insurance companies in England used to protect their policy holders. The insurmountable damage to life and property caused by the great fires, such as the fire of the Library of Alexandria in 283 BC, the Great Fire of London during the Black Plague on 1666, London took over 30 years to rebuild. The Great Fire of 1835, New York, in the midst of a cholera epidemic, among others, has prompted the need for fire protection services across the globe. The first fire protection agency in the Philippines came with the American occupation in 1901. Fire protection services were established in Manila and was known as the Manila Fire Department, which became the model of all fire departments established later throughout the country. Before that, however, American journalists have noticed small volunteer law enforcement and firefighting groups called the Rondas. They are housed in Nipa huts with buckets of water, pails of sand, ladders, and other firefighting apparatus. On August 7, 1901, the United States Philippines Commission organized the Manila Fire Department, which was part of what was then the Department of Streets, Parks, Fire, and Sanitation. It became a separate agency with Captain F.R. Dodge as its first chief and Captain J.W. Hoey as his deputy. Dodge was succeeded by Captain Hugh Bonner, a former fire chief of the New York Fire Department on April 25, 1902. During his incumbency, Bonner has established Station No. 1, San Nicolas Fire Station, Station No. 2, Santa Cruz Fire Station, Station No. 3, Paco Fire Station, and Station No. 4, Intramuros Fire Station. Alongside the promulgation of MFD rules and regulations on November 5, 1902, Station No. 5 or the Tanduay Fire Station was established shortly after. Bonner was succeeded by Captain Louis Dingnam in 1907. He led the construction of two additional stations, Station No. 6, Tondo Fire Station, and Station No. 7, San Lazaro Fire Station. During this time, the old horse-drawn carriages were gradually replaced with motorized steam engine-ran units. In 1919, Captain Otis L. Vanderford assumed position and worked for the construction of Station No. 8, Santa Mesa Fire Station. On October 19, 1935, the first Filipino fire chief was appointed a month before the inauguration of the Commonwealth Government. The appointment of Captain Jacinto Lorenzo was the result of the American policy to transfer the government's responsibility to the Filipinos. The Japanese occupation in 1941 has transformed the capital of Manila into a wasteland. Local firefighters took up arms and engaged in guerrilla warfare against the invaders. Numerous firefighters were killed by the Japanese military police, the Kempetai. 
Several fire stations were destroyed and fire trucks were repurposed for military work, rendering the government helpless in addressing the numerous fires during that period. As much as five fires per day were recorded between 1946 to 1947, with approximately 14 million pesos in damages, estimated 336 million pesos in today's currency value. The U.S. Armed Forces took over what was left of the MFD in 1946 and sent the country's fire chief, Captain Cipriano Cruz, on naval firefighting training at Pearl Harbor. Upon his return, his administration repurposed 6x6 six six surplus trucks to be converted to what was then considered to be a leap in Philippine firefighting, the water tank apparatus. Four more fire stations were established during this time, with Station 9 Gagalangin Fire Station, Station No. 10 Santa Ana Fire Station, Station No. 11 Arroceros Fire Station, and Station No. 12 Sampaloc Fire Station. The development of fire protection services was put into least priority while the country was slowly recovering from the war. The Gamewell Fire Alarm System replaced the original police and fire alarm system of the 1900s. Before martial law was declared, the police, firefighting, and jail service were independent of each other and were supported by the local government units. In 1966, Republic Act 4864, otherwise known as the Police Act of 1966, was enacted to address the inefficiencies of that time. By its virtue, the National Police Commission was formed, which supervised the selection, training, and professionalization of the public safety services. Presidential Decree 421 was then issued by President Ferdinand Marcos on March 21, 1974, which organized the forces of police, fire, and jail within the Metropolitan Manila. The complete integration of all administrative and operational functions was finally achieved on July 1, 1975, under the Metropolitan Police Force with its first commanding general, Brigadier General Prospero Olivas. By virtue of seven presidential decrees, the local police, fire, and jail departments of each province in the country were established as part of the Provincial Law Enforcement Unit under the supervision of the Philippine Constabulary on March 21, 1974. These actions initiated the promulgation of Presidential Decree 765 on August 8, 1975 that created the Integrated National Police or INP. Major General Fidel V. Ramos then assumed command as the incumbent Philippine Constabulary Chief and the first Integrated National Police Director. Major Primo D. Cordeta became the first Chief Fire Marshal 1978 to 1989 within the PCINP command. It was during this time that the Isuzu Morita and Ford Roughneck fire trucks were purchased by the Philippine government to boost the firefighting capabilities of the PCINP. The INP Training Command established the Fire Service Training Center in 1979 for the fire service personnel. In December 1990, Four years after the 1986 EDSA Revolution, Republic Act No. 6975, also known as the DILG Act of 1990, was passed. A new Philippine National Police was formed by merging the integrated National Police into the Philippine Constabulary. Under Rule 8 of the said law, the Bureau of Fire Protection was officially separated from the integration of the PCINP and was established as a distinct agency alongside the Jail Service, the Bureau of Jail Management and Penology. The organization was then placed under the direct supervision of the DILG Undersecretary for Peace and Order. 
The succeeding approval of the Appropriation Act of 1991 has also caused the inaugural operation of the Bureau of Fire Protection on August 2, 1991 as a distinct agency of the government, with its initial preparations undertaken by the staff of the Office of the National Chief Fire Marshal at Camp Crame, Quezon City, then headed by Fire Brigadier General Ernesto Madriaga. The BFP continued to enforce Presidential Decree 1185, the old fire code of the Philippines, enforced previously by the provincial directors and station commanders of the PCINP. Under Rule 10 of RA 6975, the Fire Service Training Center was absorbed by the Philippine Public Safety College as the modern-day National Fire Training Institute. From 1991 to 1992, the BFP under the command of Major General Mario C. Tanchanko has been assimilating all its resources into a new framework. The agency migrated its base of operations from Camp Crame Quezon City to City Tower San Juan City. In 1993, the first efforts to upgrade the Bureau's manpower capabilities was made by Brigadier General Alfonso T. Clemente with the recruitment of engineers, architects, and other professionals. Seeing the lack of maintenance of fire trucks, he launched a nationwide fire trucks rehabilitation program starting from Metro Manila and surrounding localities. 1994, with the direction of Senior Superintendent Edgar G. Humotea, Jr., the Bureau started to reinforce the thinly spread firefighting forces across the Visayas and outlying regions of Luzon with the construction of Regional Offices 3, 4, and 6, Municipal Fire Stations, and repair of dilapidated fire stations. In 1995, Senior Superintendent Felipe T. Carpio pushed the capability development towards the Mindanao Islands. The first service vehicles and the first of firefighting personal protective equipment were procured. The Ozone Disco Fire Tragedy of 1996 came across as a shock to improve the fire protection services of the country. The glaring inadequacies of the old fire code became apparent along with the lack of basic fire protection services due to insufficient funding. Senior Superintendent Bonifacio J. Garcia initiated the revision of the old fire code to address these issues. Bureau-wide reforms such as the standardization of operational and administrative procedures were pursued. Enrico Garcia, music director of Cobao Baptist Church, was commissioned to compose the BFP hymn in collaboration with renowned composer Ryan Kayabyab. The fastest changes in leadership within the BFP occurred in 1997 when Chief Superintendent Donato B. Gonzalez, Senior Superintendent Hill P. Jacinto, and Senior Superintendent Rolando M. Hakumile sat at its helm. The Emergency Medical Services was established in time with the Philippine Centennial Program, which provided for the agency's state-of-the-art EMS equipment and firefighting apparatus. In 1998, the precursor to the now BFP Operational Procedures Manual was made under the stint of Senior Superintendent Rogelio N. Tumbaga. Various upgrades to firefighting equipment were added, such as the Mobile Evidence Collection and Investigative Equipment Van, Advanced Cardiac Life Support Vans, Rescue Vehicles, and Radio Communication Equipment. The Special Rescue Unit was also established during this time, with the then Senior Inspector Jose Segundo Embang, the current BFP Director, as its founding chief. In 1998, President Joseph Estrada appointed Raimundo E. Padua Jr. from the Philippine National Police as DILG Assistant Secretary for Public Safety. The original BFP organization of 1991 was restructured to address the prevailing demands of mandated functions. 
the Fire Control Operations Center was established. Consequently, this led to the establishment of Project EarNet Emergency Assistance and Response Network, a communication network for crime prevention, emergency and disaster response and mitigation. It became the forerunner of the Public Safety Hotline, DILG Patrol 117, which then evolved in 2016 as the modern-day Philippine Emergency Hotline 911. As the year 2000 approached, battalion-sized emergency responders were reserved for the disastrous effects of the Y2K bug, which the world anxiously anticipated. This period ushered in a new set of programs, primarily the extended repair of fire trucks and equipment with the help of local government units and organizations under the leadership of Chief Superintendent Francisco S. Senot. In 2004, the Pro-Safe Promotion of Safety Against Fire Emergencies project was launched to help promote fire safety consciousness within the citizenry, which became the forerunner of the Kidi and Junior Fire Marshal project and the conceptualization of the Berong Bumbero mascot. In 2005, BFP Chief Rogelio F. Asignado became the first two-star general of the agency with the rank of director. The agency elevated its professional standards and salary scale commensurate to their PNP counterparts through the passage of RA-9263, otherwise known as the BFP and BJMP Professionalization Act of 2004. The BFP Midnight Blue Uniform replaced the previous light blue tuck-in uniform. The SRU Orange Field Uniform, EMS Blue Emergency Response Uniform, and the operating units uniforms were conceptualized. The BFP mission and vision went from modernized to world class. In 2007, under the stint of Director Jose E. Collado, the inherent functions of the fire chief to appoint and assign personnel was delegated to the regional directors. By virtue of Republic Act 9263, recruitment and promotion were decentralized to the regional level. The development of arson laboratory with the equipping of gas chromatograph machines were given priority at this period. Task force validation was launched with Director Collado leading a team of engineers completing the task within a three-year period. The fire safety checklists generated for the project were adopted on the formulation of the new fire code. The effort to update the 31-year-old fire code of the Philippines finally came into reality with the final reading and passage of Republic Act 9514, better known as the Comprehensive Fire Code of the Philippines of 2008 by both Houses of Congress. The new fire code, instituted under the guidance of Director Enrique C. Linsangan, prescribes an expanded authority for the fire chief to effect stiffer administrative and punitive penalties to violators of the code. Likewise, it provides authority for the BFP to collect and utilize 80% of the fire code revenues to finance its modernization programs. The BFP also had its first taste of a fire truck procurement program at this time with the procurement of 58 new fire trucks and the rehabilitation of 131 units. During the term of Director Rolando M. Bandilla in 2008, the Bureau Service Upgrading and Modernization Program has borne fruit through the procurement of 177 fire trucks, 7 rescue vans, and various rescue equipment. In 2009, the BFP showcased its capability to effectively respond to major disasters and calamities during the height of Typhoons Peping, Ramil, Santi, and more notably, Ondoy. 
through Republic Act 9485 or the Anti-Red Tape Act, the BFP Citizens Charter was formulated and disseminated. The BFP National Headquarters was relocated to Agham Road, Quezon City in 2010. 76 units of the state-of-the-art Rosenbauer TLF 4000 fire trucks from Austria were initiated by DILG Secretary Jesse M. Robredo during the term of Chief Superintendent Samuel R. Perez in 2011 and was immediately followed suit by Chief Superintendent Ruben F. Biaris in 2012. Since 2010, the BFP has been steadily acquiring new assets with the improved funding from the new fire code. The BFP caught the public eye when the relevance of its services came to plain view during the onslaught of Typhoon Yolanda in the Philippines in 2013. Chief Superintendent Carlito S. Romero led firefighting forces in rescue, relief, and clearing operations. Partnerships with Korean and American firefighting forces were forged during the ordeal. 76 units of the Rosenbauer fire trucks on its second phase of procurement were included in the Bureau's arsenal. In 2014, the BFP Operational Procedures Manual was institutionalized during the stint of Director Ariel A. Barayuga. A change in the organizational structure was proposed that aims to form the new Directorate for Information Communications and Technology and the Directorate for Investigation and Intelligence. The Kentex Slipper Factory Fire of 2015 forced the BFP to review the issuance of its fire safety inspection certificates and has resulted with the conduct of fire safety inspection catch-up plan to expedite the inspection of commercial establishments across the country. When Chief Superintendent Rodrigo R. Abrazaldo assumed command in 2016, the Bureau received the last delivery phase of 469 new fire trucks, the largest procurement ever undertaken by the agency. 2017, the BFP rank modification was pursued by Director Bobby V. Baruelo to address the irregular distribution of personnel among the lower echelons of the rank ladder. Director Leonard R. Banyago spearheaded the certification of the BFP to ISO 9001-2015 Quality Management System Standards. The BFP also gained authority over the enforcement of the fire code in Philippine Economic Zones through the BFP PESA Memorandum of Agreement. The BFP also participated in the business one-stop shop for the speedy issuance of permits in compliance of RA 11032 or the Ease of Doing Business Act. To stave off the effects of fires in residential areas, the BFP launched the Oplan Ligtas na Pamayanan in 2019, an all-inclusive fire prevention program aimed at the collaboration of local government units and the citizenry with BFP personnel in the identification and reduction of hazards in the community. The year 2020 has brought major disasters. The eruption of Taal Volcano, the Typhoon Rolly and Typhoon Ulysses, and the global COVID-19 pandemic. Director Jose Segundo Embang Jr., the national focal person for chemical, biological, and radionuclear response, assumed post as the Chief Bureau of Fire Protection on January 2020 and then proceeded to deftly maneuver the BFP to maximize its resources in the disinfection, swabbing, quarantine, patient transportation, primary health care, among others in the battle against the pandemic.
Despite the situation, the BFP has procured a total of 132 1,000-gallon fire trucks, 20 water tenders, 5 aerial ladders, and 6 collapse search and rescue trucks. Fire prevention efforts were adapted to minimum health safety protocols. Thus, the mobile business one-stop shop for businesses and the Oplan Ligtas na Pamayanan and On the Road was adopted. The presence of the BFP through social media proliferated at this time. The search, rescue and special operations branch of the agency was institutionalized through the activation of the Special Rescue Force on April 18, 2021 at Ligao City, Albay. President Rodrigo Roa Duterte mentioned that the fire services of the country must be modernized thrice during his SONA speeches in 2019, 2020, and 2021. House Bill 7406, otherwise known as the BFP Modernization Act of 2020, was filed by the BFP under the leadership of Director Mbang on August 23, 2020. The imminent passing of this law will address the long-standing shortages in the manpower and equipment of the BFP to realistically reach its vision of being a modern fire protection service capable of comprehensive fire protection services by the year 2034. The 2021 Fire Congress is an international forum focused on building resilience against destructive fire and the addressing of emerging threats in the face of challenging times with the theme leading the way in the face of challenging times towards safety and security in communities. The event serves as a representation of the position of the BFP at the cusp of transforming into a modern fire protection agency. Come and join us as we embark on a new chapter of the BFP with the first ever Fire Congress.